join us in building a more fair and transparent future, visit ParticiaBlockchain.com today. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. Today, I am very honored to welcome our guest, ex-official of the Europol, where he was responsible for fighting terrorism online and cyber criminality. And today, he is the president of the Cyber Peace Institute, where he is helping protect vulnerable communities around the world against cyber attacks. Welcome, Stéphane Dugain. Thank you for having me, Jennifer. It's a pleasure to be here. It's our pleasure as well, Stefan. So to start, can you give us a little bit more background about the mission of the Cyber Peace Institute and what you're doing in the field? And with pleasure, the Cyber Peace Institute is a non-for-profit uh, NGO. We are based in, in Geneva, Switzerland. Our mission is quite simple, straightforward. We are providing for free support to the one with no capacity to defend themselves against cyber attacks. And if you allow me, I would like to say something about cyber attacks because it's like, you know, cyber is virtual. Is not. What we are looking into is uh, protecting access to water, access to food, access to energy, access to healthcare. And cyber attacks today are impacting all these sectors, and we are here to make sure that uh, they are protected and uh, receiving the support that they uh, deserve. Stefan, can you give us some examples of the recent cyber attacks with the Russian invasion of the Ukraine? Yeah, sadly enough, there's uh, many examples. We've seen only over the past two weeks a escalation of all type of attacks. We've seen campaign of disinformation. We've seen disruptive, brutal attack against the infrastructure, trying to cripple government uh, entities in Ukraine, healthcare system, civil society. We even saw an attack specifically on a system which facilitates the move of refugees across border. Uh, we've seen uh, attacks trying just to destroy computer end to end to make sure that uh, Ukraine in this case would not be in capacity to uh, defend itself against this invasion. Stefan, this is the most acute cyber crisis that humanity has ever faced. So can you tell us how this is impacting the work that you do? Now, there's an impact because we are here to protect the vulnerable communities. What are they facing? In a situation of war, War means escalation. And escalation in the context of sanction, history showed us, is always leading to an increase of cyber attacks. Let's take what happened with the North Korea years ago, when there was some sanction. A group, Lazarus Group, started a lot of attacks all around the world to go around the sanction and bring my money to the country. This is exactly what we see happening now, which means that victims are going to be created all over the world because it's going to go beyond the border of Ukraine and Russia. Stefan, what's going to happen next? Do we see an escalated risk against civilian populations and ONGs? Uh, sadly enough, every time that there's been a crisis, there's been attack. In this context, there's uh, aggression, there's invasion. So obviously, there's military operation in the cyberspace. But on top of that, you will never have to uh, forget what criminals do when there's a crisis always makes the best from a good crisis. We saw this uh, in the pandemic, in COVID-19, when there was one attack per day, one attack per day against hospital. This is exactly what we're seeing now, increase of attack, not only from military forces, but also criminal groups. We've seen also that the Ukraine government has created their new IT army, calling upon specialists around the world to help out. You are doing something similar, engaging with volunteers around the world, also to help you in your Cyber Peace Builders program. Can you tell us about this program? Yes, uh, of course. We created the program six months ago already to provide for free support to humanitarian NGOs. This program is calling for volunteers, for people that are uh, working in, in companies. We are securing contracts with companies to make sure that these volunteers can help for free, no strings attached, NGOs. So this is for us a call to these volunteers who want to do good, to protect, to help the humanitarian aid in Ukraine. We have a specific tool that they can use to be practical and hands on today. Thank you, Stefan, for decrypting cyber peace efforts in times of war. And join us next week where we will be taking a closer look at Europe's largest and greenest Bitcoin and cryptocurrency mining facility. Bye everyone. Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.